Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffith's occasional series in MATLAB. Today we'll be doing a little bit of, well, I was going to say image compression, but more of the foundations image compression, and we're just going to look at entropy for a number of different images. So I'm not actually going to describe the entropy function in this particular video. That will come in the next one. We're just going to look at the results. So I've made a number, or I've used a number of different images here. So let's just scroll down a little bit here. So the first one is Cameraman, there, that well-known one. And I've written the function called MyEntropy, which we'll look at in the next video. And the entropy of the image is 7.00972. So what does that mean? So to get the maximum uh, or the lowest possible average uh, number of bits per pixel is 7.00972. So in other words, normally you'd use 8 bits per pixel. So statistically, the lowest possible average is 7.00972. There's the cameraman. Now, it doesn't look that busy. It looks like that's fairly black and that's fairly grey. But if we just look at the relative counts here. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken it and the sum of all these probabilities, just I'm tracing over here, they all add up to one. Okay, so I've got the probability for just say there, just say 50. I don't know what that is, but it's about... I don't know, zero is three knots, five or something like that, or a more discernible one here, just there. So that would be about pixel value, about 152. So the probability of that is 1%. So the image is 256 by 256, so that's 65,000. So 1% of that is about, so, uh, is about 650. So just to give you some idea there, and so, So there's not a there's a reasonable spread. Obviously, there isn't anything up here. Or there, there's very little. So let's look at rice.png. Call the function myentropy again, and not much difference here in the entropies. Seven point zero one one five. So the lowest possible average number of bits per pixel is seven point zero one one five. There's rice.png. Uh, we have seen this before, uh, what in mainly used in uh, image processing to use top hat with non-constant variance. Just see, it's much brighter up here than it is down in this corner here. That's not today's work. So there's the relative counts again. So uh, really very little uh, below 40 and very little, say, above 205, 200. 10 but that hasn't done that much so that's 7.01 and the other one is 0 0.7.00 so okay so they're relatively busy now next image is I made I just have to zoom here I made this image earlier, as they say. So, and what I said was the first one went 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and over here is 15. And the second row was 16 to 31. Third row, 32 to 47. Next one, 48 to 63. Last row is uh, 240 to 255. So this is a very busy image. There's two, there's 16 pixels by 16 pixels. I've zoomed up there. If you, I don't know if you can see the top of the screen, it's 1200%. So, <coughs> excuse me, it's 16 by 16. There's 256 56 pixels, and each pixel has a different value. So this is a very busy image. So we're going to expect that entropy to be higher or lower than the previous ones. Well, because it's going to be much higher. Why? Because it's there's it's much busier. There's more disorder, or there's less order. There's and so if I just zoom out again. Now, when we look at that, it appears as if the relative count is saying zero. But remember, 
uh, there's it's the relative count is one over two hundred and fifty six. So one over hundred is point one per is point oh one, one over two hundred is point oh oh five. So each value there is something like point oh oh seven or something like that. So that's why it looks like zero. So the relative counts are the same and needless to say because this is a busier image there's more disorder there's it's all over the place the entropy of the image is eight eight bits per pixel so that is the theoretically lowest average number of bits per pixel i then went the other way i made less busy more or more order so what i did was i created four bands here uh, you can see them just there and the band values are I haven't come up but from memory I think it's 580 something like 170 and something like 230 I can't remember exactly but there are four bands there so around 5 around 80 around 150 around 220 something like that but the point I'm trying to get across is band 1 constant band 2 constant, band 3 constant, band 4 constant, so there's only 4 bands. So let's look at the graph as you'd expect. See so there's the around 5, around 80, around 160 and around, okay I think I said 210, but around 240. So there's 4 peaks and the rest are 0. Do we expect the entropy to go up or to go down? Well, since there's more order or less disorder, whichever you want to look at it, uh, as there's less disorder, you expect the entropy to go down. And we find there it's 1.9991, another one, well, fairly near two. Okay. So, and then you see this in various textbooks, the entropy of a binary image etc so what I did for the final one was I did two bands I just did black and I didn't make this white I just made it a light grey and the reason I made it a light grey was you wouldn't be able to see the white against the white background so I just put in a uh, grey there it's just so as we can do so the two values are around 10 and 205 there's more order again. Remember we had four bands, four distinct values. Here we only have two distinct values. So if we only have two distinct values, there's more order. And su surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, the entropy is one. So, and this makes sense because we would only need one bit per pixel, say zero to represent uh, 10 and one to represent 205. So Theoretically, we could code this image using one bit per symbol, because there's only two states. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, the next video will explain how to calculate uh, the entropy function itself. Thanks very much for listening.